The best way to start your day is with a cup of positivity. You're welcome to Joy News Interactive with me, Bernice Abubedo. On this show, you free your mind. We get interactive on trending issues, issues that matter to you. For the show today, we'll talk about Brexit and how Ghanaians in the UK are taking it. Uh, we'll also speak about a player who was sent off the pitch for a very unusual reason. And we're lighting up your day with a video of today and many other issues. Now, here's how to get interactive with us. Get onto Facebook. Our name is Joy News on TV. The various issues are posted there. Kindly leave your comments in the comment section. You can also tweet at us at Joy News on TV. Uh, that's our Instagram, I'm sorry, our Twitter handle. We are also on Instagram at Joy News on TV. Alternatively, you can send me a WhatsApp message on the number 0560. 800,000, 0560, 800, 000, 000. Brexit. Now, I'm, I'm sure you've heard that word so many times in the news. Now, after the match awaited referendum, Britain has decided to exit the European Union. Now, there's been a lot of analysis about this decision uh, on radio and television, and especially how it affects Ghana, our trade with uh, London, uh, that's the UK, and our trade with other, uh, Afri uh, other countries within the EU. Um, my colleague went out to find out if people even know what Brexit is and, and what it's about, but we'll bring you that uh, later. But the latest twist now is that British Prime Minister David Cameron has resigned. Now, a lot of you have been sharing your views on Facebook. Let's get onto Facebook. Kwame Nkrumah says the UK is in for a really uncertain economic prospect. They forget that influx of migrants meant cheap labor, which led to power production, uh, sorry, lower production cost making UK's export growth. Now cutting ties makes the pound more expensive, slowing exports which will lead to job cuts and increase in unemployment. This could also trigger several referendums across the UK for pro-EU members. Uh, well, And he thinks that was not too wise. But there, there's nine replies to that. And like I always say, I'm interested in the conversation that comes up with someone's comment. Now, Jerry Nikwe says, I guess you know better than the British nationals themselves. Yeah, okay. Uh, Kwame Kuma says, you're forgetting that this has a um, an effect on the world as a whole, and that's why he has to say it. And now Kwabna, a champion, says, great response of Kwame Krumah, so he supports Kwame. Enim Philip says, when we start believing that solutions to our problems rest with us rather than someone up there and start dealing with the problems on our own, some of these things will affect us but will not run our economies to a halt. And so he says, start solving the many uh, well, I think I missed it there, but well, let's move on. Sethi Nelly Kumsin says, Pius, Kujo Afrani, I totally agree with you. Now, let's see what Pius is saying now. Pius is saying, except uh, that the cheap migrant labor has caused a lowered wage for the middle working class, you also forget the middle class of every nation forms the majority. This Brexit vote was good for the working class, and I'm glad they did. And there's more to that I'm interested. He says, I'm also glad... Um, I'm also glad the globalists have lost another battle as well. N nations must not lose their sovereignty over so-called regional unions that are controlled by greedy bankers and, well, Ruth Schultz. But uh, Sethi Nelly Kumsen says she agrees with that. But let's move on. Zuru Spear says, and, uh, well... <laughs> My president says he doesn't like American cars. Interesting. Um, let's pick some more comments here uh, about Brexit and David Cameron's resignation. Dominic Efifa Yamo says, they know what's good for them. That's why they voted out. Uh, let's pray for them. The world is becoming something with the mixture of people and all that. So originality is being compromised for me. I wish them good luck. Lars uh, Barbie Rabu says, he should go. Britain has found out that the EU was, what, CIA program? Oh, really, Lars Fabi? <laughs> Interesting. Well, this, this angled, yeah. Well, I don't know if the EU was a CIA program, but Mensa Lakim Jacob says, David can't resign because he has sworn 
an oath to serve his dear nation and the voice of the people must be obeyed when he resigns. It means he rejected his nation and the voice of the people as well. Well, he has. Uh, so, well, that's your interpretation to his action. Angel Nanan Kitia says, leadership by example. I respect this man. Uh, says, Maham, are you reading this news? If yes, then uh, step down for disgracing us. I'm sure it's in relation to the Ford gift saga. But um, your comment here on WhatsApp, this says, this move by the British means our brothers and sisters there are going to suffer deportation. This is bad. This is a at the Sebra Pharmacy in Konongo. There's still a lot of conversation around that and how uh, Britain's exit from the EU affects uh, migrants and could possibly affect the pound. We've been doing some analysis earlier on uh, the on news text, Kwamna Chenchahini has done that with some Ghanaians living in the UK and with uh, one of our sport. I'm um, sorry, one of our business reporters. Uh, we'll be doing some sports later in the show, so I'm, I'm quite in a hurry. But forgive me for that. This one says, "I'm so proud of Cameron for his decision. That act is bold, and I'm very proud of it." I wish most leaders will learn from him. England is playing with their own fantasies, and I think it's a joke. Let's see how they cope. And uh, I hope I get your name right. Yankpala Sharif Dean. I hope I got it right. Thank you so much. And uh, this one says, is good for Africans, but not for our leaders. And this one says um, that there's no doubt the exit uh, of the UK um, is in the right direction, but I strongly believe that Ankle would hold it in the long term for the remaining countries. Yakuba Ibn Chambers in Wale Wale. This one says uh, there are people and they choose where they want to belong, but I hope we will be seen. We won't begin seeing words like Frexit and Bexit and all the inks. <laughs> this is from Thomas. Yes, a lot of people have said that probably uh, the UK has led the way for other countries to opt out of uh, the EU or even in other jurisdictions in for other regional bodies like ECOWAS and AU. We hope we don't start seeing that in our part of the world as well. But um, this says the 90-year-old who might die in a week could vote against 75% of people under the age of 25. Uh, this one says what a betrayal to them. And uh, this is coming from Obwasi and says UK's decision to exit the EU is not going to bring them anything good uh, to them in terms of trade, free movement of people in and out of the UK. So a lot of you have been telling us what you think about this but like i said uh, there's been a lot of talk about brexit and the referendum but do people really know about it or have people really read about it we'll take a quick break when we come back there's a lot more to discuss here on joy news interactive please stay on <laughs> Thanks for staying on Joy News Interactive with me, Benis Abu Beidou. Before the break, we were talking about Brexit and how um, some Ghanaians in the UK are reacting to this. If you're watching us from the UK, tell us how you feel about this decision. And uh, if you're a Ghanaian, whether it threatens your stay or whether it threatens your job, just let us know. This is Joy News Interactive. But Baba from Temai Singh, um, I want to know if your exit would affect their participation in European competitions like the Champions League. I think I should call George Ado Jr. to join us. He's a, a one of the sports guys here. I sure will get you an answer to that. Um, but a colleague of mine went onto the streets to find out from people if they even know what Brexit is. Please, do you know what Brexit is? You know, I don't. What about Brexit? Brexit, no, please. No, no. No. I, I don't know, I don't know. You don't know anything? No. Do you know anything about Brexit? Oh, no, please. I don't know anything about Brexit. Okay. It's about the British uh, leaving the EU, European Union, yeah. So, to me, I, I think that is their own uh, effort, right? So, I can't blame them from leaving the European Union. So, I don't see anything wrong with that. No, please. No, I don't know. Right, thank you. Um, another question. I want to know. 
A lot of people don't seem to know anything in the news. Is it possible that we don't like listening to news? Or we are not concerned about things that happen in other parts of the world? Well, but we must realize um, it's a global world now. So, uh, well, I don't know what to say about that. But I, only one person out of that, all that. Okay, do you know about Brexit? And do you know the details of it? Well, let's move on now. I said we were going to talk some sports earlier. Now, I've watched football a lot of times. I've seen players shown the card for various reasons. A wrong tackle, a head butt, a handball, but not for doing something so natural. Well, the Swedish footballer was taken off the pitch for passing out wind. Really? Let's hear what you've been saying about that. <laughs> All part of football, so the referee should have excused him or pardoned him for what he did. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a reflex action, as you said yourself. So he didn't do it intentionally, so I don't think there's anything wrong with that. They are being taken off the pitch before farting. That is just ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Nah, no, it shouldn't happen. I think it's unfair because this one, uh, basically, in a situation whereby you are running, you are tired, and when something like this happens, you might probably not have control over it. So I think the referee should have been a little bit soft. It Things happen, you know. But well, one of my colleagues was telling me it was not really about that, but something else he did. But really, uh, many of the news portals are reporting that it was because he decided to pass out, you know, some wind. And the referee <laughs> punished him for that. But things happen in football, don't we see that? But this one says, I'm not sure it will affect the British team's participating in European competi competition, sorry, since Russia is not in the EU but their teams are in European competitions. Okay, this is from Abu Abdullah in, in Koko. <laughs> this one says, it's not a crime to pass out when on the football pitch or anywhere else for that matter because there aren't buildings for doing that <laughs> like there is for, you know, peeing or, you know, urinating. But the manner in which it's done makes it provocative and annoying. According to the player, the referee thought uh, he did that uh, in his hand and threw it at him. Now, could he assume that's what the referee thought if he didn't actually do it? It's, this one says, it's so funny, young Pala Sharif Dean. Thanks for your comment on that. But, you know, it's a Friday and we try to make things a bit light to you know, usher you into the weekend. It's not a Thursday, I know, but let's just have a throwback. Do you remember this? I remember that growing up, you wouldn't want to miss that on a Sunday, but some of you have been telling us about that. Cherry Harmony laughs and says, I remember those days we had black and white TV. I used to be too known to my friends <laughs> that if you don't bath, you would enter my room. Hey, Cherry, you had, you had a room with a television when you were a child. Hey, I'm sure you're some. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, Saibu uh, says, Wukum, that's the monkey king. Shivo, that's the king uh, sent on the mission. Bajia, that's the pig master. Uh, I don't remember this one. Woody, protector of the horse, says, These TV series um, are worth watching again. It's a hit series of all time. Kenneth Kenzima says, Wow, days are past. My favorite was Wunku because he always sent. Ah, Wunku. All right. I, <laughs> it's been a long time. Okay, because he always turned everything around to save everyone. Shifu is too old now. But let's scroll down a bit because we showed you on our Facebook page what they actually look now. Um, let's scroll down a bit to see that photo. Okay, so that's what they look like now. Isn't it amazing? Wow. So that's Shifu, I'm sure. And that's the king. And that's Bajier. And I, I don't remember who this is, maybe the horse master or something. But <laughs> let's make a few of your comments and we'll uh, round it up here. And this one says, Osman Dogo, he's laughing his heart out and says, Jenny to the West, I can only remember, well, I, I, I'm not sure I can remember how to pronounce the name right again, but Shifu. And uh, I think it's Bajia. 
Okay, it's not party. Yeah. All right, that one I remember. But let's get on to what's up. This one says, yes, I think you guys should try showing the series. You want to watch Jenny to the West again. And uh, this one says, uh, it's from Raman in Hohoi. And this one says, I remember I recorded some... Uh, Shot of this with my mom, my mom's deck. Okay, we had some decks that could record. This is from Mora Bedu at the Sebre Pharmacy in Konongo. This one says, um, I need to, I used to run from church to go and watch that. Yeah, but yeah, he always scared you, but you were still running from church. That's not too good. This one uh, says, Jenny to the West, and this for Francis from Asin Dompim. Louise from Chakade says, I really want to know why the British want to leave the EU. Uh, well, there's a lot of issues because there were some new reforms and it sparked up some controversy. Some thought they should remain, some thought they should leave. And so there was a referendum and uh, 51, about 51% uh, voted that they should exit uh, from the European Union. But you can get onto our online portal, myjoyonline.com, if you want to know more about it and all the analysis and conversation uh, around Britain's decision to exit from the EU. But hey, before I go, you know about uh, this tournament that's going on. Um, uh, it's not the Copa America, it's the other one. I've forgotten all of a sudden. It's the, the Euro 2016. Thank you, Fred. It's the Euro 2016. And Iceland is the first time, and they did so well, they've qualified to the next round. And here's how their commentator decided, not decided, but just, just this is how he reacted to it. And this video has been trending. Take a look at it. So that was just to get you laughing, I, and I hope you can carry the excitement into the rest of the week. Uh, well, that'll be it for Johnny's Interactive today, but thank you so much for your company. Don't forget, the conversation continues on all our social media platforms. On Facebook, we are Johnny's on TV. Same name, will find us on Twitter and Instagram. Alternatively, you can send us a WhatsApp message on the number 05608. 100,000 send us a video, a picture. We like to see what's happening around you and we'll gladly share it with the rest of the world. Do take care and enjoy the rest of your day.